Hi everybody! I wanted to do a little video for you um, to share, which I'm going to post tomorrow, which I'm doing it Friday night, very late. What is it? About half ten? 20 to 11, something like that. Um, we've still not finished packing um, to go on holiday. My husband has done his backing, can you believe it, whilst washing the car this afternoon. Um, so we're hoping he's going to be well enough to drive down tomorrow to Cornwall, if not guess who's going to be doing the driving tomorrow he's in quite a lot of pain actually so um well, yeah that's why we are still packing and well, I am still uh, rushing around doing the packing whilst he's laid up at the moment anyway um I thought I'd do a little video for you to um just to knock on the head anyone who is having those thoughts of um Sonia's away now for a week. I'm not going to see her for two weeks. Some of you are also having your own little breaks uh, at the moment as well. And um, I just wanted to have a talk about those little thoughts that we have. And I'm having them too as well. Or I have them too. Um, about when we're having a little bit of a break or when you're, you're not having... You're having a little bit of a break from being accountable to me. Um, and... Um, I've had several conversations with people over yesterday and the day before um, that kind of link in with what I wanted to say as well. And and then I also just kind of sum it all up. I had a conversation, I had my nails done, my toenails done today, um, I'm reading this for the holiday, um, with um, my beautician who mentioned um, about, which starts off what I wanted to talk to you about. Um, she was talking to me about a, um, a, a client who'd come to her to, um, uh, she'd she'd come back from a cruise and she was I don't know what she was having done but she'd she'd come to her and she'd come back from a two week cruise and she'd managed to put on two stone in two weeks she put on two stone in two weeks crikey I thought that was some going to put on two stone in two weeks and I was like how the hell did she do that that is some going and apparently it's totally doable she described it to me I've never been on a cruise so I don't know what it's like and how you eat but apparently everything is focused around food on cru cruises go figure um and that got me thinking about the what i used to call the battle um uh, uh around the um the, the the story that goes on in your head and probably might be going on in some of your heads at the moment and used to go on in my head around holidays particularly when i first finished dieting uh, around um well i'm on holiday now so i've got to enjoy myself with food haven't i i shouldn't be dieting anymore i shouldn't be having to be healthy this is all about um just enjoying myself now with food so i can take my eye off the ball i'm on holiday for god's sake i shouldn't have to think about the bloody diet food all the time and and all of that i'm just not going to think about it i'm not going to focus on it and um and i guess that's kind of why the um um emma my um, beautician's lady managed to put on two stone <sighs> i still can't get over that um anyway um and and that led me back to a conversation i had with one of you guys which was um i won't name any names because um i don't want to um draw attention to any of you all and everything you always say to me is always confidential anyway but one of you said to me uh, yes, yesterday that um, you're, you're approaching goal and you said to me that, um, and it was so um, important that I wrote it down because um, uh, I thought it was spot on. You said that I'm making a choice between how I look and the food I love. And you've made this sort of bing, aha, you've had this aha moment. I'm making a choice between how I look and the food I love. And you'd made this just sort of um you'd had this aha moment that you have to keep on limiting it to feel good and to continue limiting it to feel good for good you've got to keep on keeping on limiting it to feel good and to keep on limiting it to feel to be slim and and you you were talking about how you love food and i think we all have that association of loving food and certainly as you were talking i was thinking that i um, I certainly have had 
so me going back to what I was saying to you before about that battle that I used to have of um, when I was thinking about holidays coming up that, well, it's my holiday now. So that battle in my head was, but it's my holiday and I've, I've got to be able to eat whatever I want to eat, surely. Um, and certainly we've got, um, I think I've been talking to some of you about how we've got a meal out booked at um, Rick Stein's restaurant in Padstow um, and where we're staying in Carbis Bay, which is just outside of St Ives as a Michelin starred restaurant right in Carbis Bay. And we've got a meal booked there. So, yes, there will be times when um, I will eat more than my maintenance on those days. Um, but I can't eat always every single day. I mean, I can, or I'll put on two stone in two weeks, or or maybe not that much, but I could put on that much. And so going back to what that, that lady earlier on in the week said, I have got to keep making choices between how I look and the food I love. I have got to keep making those. And if I choose not to make those choices over my holiday, then I will start to feel crap about how I look. And when I come back from my holiday, and I can make those choices, I can choose to make those choices, but then I'll start to feel absolutely crap about how I look, and then I'll have to go back on plan again. And that's a choice I could make if I wanted to, and sometimes I do make that choice. And But I, I also have the consideration now that I make, so this is the other half of my, um, and it's no longer a battle for me, the other choice that I have in that... Um, 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 uh, seesaw if you like is it's not just for me anymore about the choice between how I look and the food I love for me it's also about my health and the f and it, that's another factor that comes in for me so when I'm choosing what to do about what I eat I also think also not just about well what how do I want to look but how how do I how healthy do I want my body to be and that's a massive factor for me now in what I'm choosing to eat um and so I want you to consider as you move as we're moving forwards into the these next couple of weeks all of these things I've just said about these decisions that you're making I, I think about what you're doing it's 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 all about the choices that you're making as an adult about what do you want to do about how you want to feel in a couple of weeks time and and moving forwards how do, how does that how do you want to feel about that um another thing just to finish off I uh, another of you said to me that uh, you only you've realized that you only have to do this for a limited time span um i.e that it's a means to an end and that's true it is a means to an end but you do also have to consider that this is a means to an end that has to continue and it is a choice that you've got to make and keep on making and keep on making and keep on making yes with much more food when you're in maintenance but you've got to keep on making those choices in order to keep on looking good and feeling good and being healthy so that's i guess what i wanted to say that every choice you make in the coming weeks this coming week without me being a being accountable to me although you have got heidi to be accountable to as well aren't you lucky um but being accountable for your own actions. It's about being how you want to look and about how you want to be healthy for yourself. And you know, sod the food that you love, it's that coming down to that as well. How do you want to look and how healthy do you want to be? That's the bottom line, isn't it? That is the bottom line. So think very carefully about what you're doing and I'll see you in a week's time.